everybody, CB here. I thought I'd just come and unmold these pink coasters. I actually forgot to record it when I did them, but um, anyway, I just thought I'd come and unmold them now. My, um, I'm come, trying to come up with some ideas what people would like me to teach. Um, and so if there's anything that you really would like me to demonstrate for you, please just let me know. Okay, anyway, I'll download this now so that you can see. All right, so this is just a, a single mould that holds four, like, pizza-shaped pieces of with uh, the curved ag agate sides. Now, what I did, I I tried out first. I used the, the new La Rosette, La Res, um Pink Panther paste, but it's in a translucent shade so I mix that first and poured some around the edges I then mixed up some pink panther in the mica powder mixed with star mist um, a nice spoonful of each together and then I poured in the rest and in the center here I just put a few little bits of crush glass so let's see how that turned out I'll just go around and oh there we are oh I see just like that I've not used this mold before I'll see so that's the front and the back. Oh, that's turned out lovely. I just spread them around a little bit, the mirrored glass, and that looks very nice. Yes, they're all the same. So they're reversible, these ones. So I'll just pop them. That's the mirrored side, which is very pretty. I think I'll edge them in um, silver. Or the other side is a plainer side. Okay, I think I'll edge them in silver. Okay, so I've just checked all the edges and I must have poured it just right because I don't have any sharp bits that I've got to file off. Um, I must have domed it just right, the resin. So I'm going to just do the edges with some silver gilding paint. I like to just pour a little bit. This... Just pour a little bit in the lid so I don't knock it over. <laughs> and I find using one of my eyebrow <laughs> uh, um, eyeshadow pencil brushes is perfect. And we're just going to go along the edge here. If you can see that. And just paint all the sides. I will also go across the top edge like that all the way along. And a tiny bit on the back as well. Just running my brush half on half off along the top edge continue finishing it off Well, these look very pretty nice and pastel delicate it's covered very well and I'll just finish this edge too half on 
can see I haven't had to reload up my brush. It takes such a tiny amount of the gilding paint to finish the edges. Not every coaster needs the edges done, it just depends. There we are, that's the top and the bottom done. Just to give it a nice finish. I love the side with the mirror. I think that's my favourite side. Okay, so what I do then is I place it on top of a container so I don't put it down flat because I don't want it to smudge. So I'll just go and do all of them and I'll be back. Okay, you see that I have completed doing the silver edging all the way around and I did decided to do it along the interior part of the coasters as well. And I think they look beautiful. So I'll just need to wait for them to completely dry and I'll take some photos.